Hey, it's Erin, and today is shoulder day. This shoulder day is a little bit different than some of the others. Today I'm focusing on balancing out any asymmetries. So if you think about in your day-to-day -day life, you're either right-handed or left-handed. This means you're going to perform many of your tasks with your dominant side. So over time, your brain becomes wired to kind of work in this one side and not so much on the other. In the gym, you'll find that, especially doing both arm uh, or bilateral exercises, you're gonna be pushing a little bit harder with the dominant side. Even if you don't have plans to compete, it's really important that we maintain strength and symmetry on both sides because this is going to help prevent injury. A few ways that you can rewire your brain during the day is to focus on doing tasks, some of your tasks with your non-dominant side. So this can be like uh, for home improvement projects. For example, if you're painting, paint with your left hand or your non-dominant side. Brushing your teeth a couple of nights per week. Try brushing your teeth with your non-dominant side. So really think about evening things out. And again, this doesn't really matter if you're stepping on stage or not. Symmetry is really important for your overall health, um, overall strength, and preventing injury. And talking in terms of injuries, a lot of us have shoulder issues um, throughout the years. For me, it was from powerlifting. I separated this shoulder. So if you look closely, you'll see that this side is a little bit smaller than this side. And that's okay. I mean, a lot of us have that. But my goal is to make sure that both sides are evening out. And, um, you know, when this left shoulder starts to crap out on me, I need to stop movement with the right shoulder. And that's going to help even things out. We're going to focus today a little bit more on the nuances of each exercise. This is from the fingertips to the shoulders, making sure the wrists are even, making sure the elbows are even, making sure you're sitting evenly in the seat. And that, over time, if you think, if you're a little skewed one way or the other, and you're doing it a few reps, a few weeks, a few months, that can lead to pretty significant asymmetries over time. So without further ado, let's get in there and do that workout. The first exercise is a dumbbell split jerk. I'm going to be doing three sets of five reps per side. I'm using a dumbbell that's heavier than I would normally press. This is going to help uh, on that negative portion with building strength, also get me used to handling dumbbells that are heavier than I would normally press. Also, power movements, explosive movements, fire up that central nervous system so it can help with focus and strength in workouts later on. If you're not accustomed to doing this exercise, grab a lighter dumbbell and just do push press. So keep your feet closer together, drive that weight up with your hips, control it on the way down, but it's a smaller movement. Um, it gets you ready for those split jerks to come. The next exercise is just your simple shoulder press, but we've added a twist to it. So here <clears throat> I'm incorporating those isometric holds. So when I get to mid rep, I'm just gonna hold it on alternating sides. And you'll notice that my back is away from the back pad. And what this does is this angle is gonna help hit those side delts a little bit better. So the focus today is gonna be a bit more side delts. And here, just making sure the elbows are directly under that dumbbell, making sure the wrists are straight. And then also keep in mind that you want those dumbbells to be a mirror image of each other. So really pay close attention. Make sure you're not twisting one wrist a little bit more than the other. Make sure your isometric hold is in the same place. You're not letting your elbow drop lower than the other. So here, you're not gonna go as heavy as you normally would because it's four sets of eight reps on each side. That isometric hold really, really makes it tough. So get those reps in regardless of the weight. And then the very end, I want you to hold the dumbbell and give yourself a nice loaded stretch. And this is gonna help stretch out those muscle fibers. The next exercise is a wide grip, modified upright row. So the bench is set at about a 75 degree angle, keeping those shoulders pinned back and down. And then I'm not getting full stretch on this, I'm trying to keep constant tension on the side and the rear delts. 
And the reason I'm not getting that full stretch is because there's a tendency to shrug the weight whenever you let go of that constant tension. So once you really feel this in your rear delts and in your side delts, I want you to continue to keep that tension. It's gonna help you really eliminate those traps because uh, traps can start taking over with the upright rows and um, this is a great way to prevent that from happening. And I love the chest supported exercises for limiting the use of momentum. Momentum is another way that the traps can start taking over. So here you're able to really quiet everything else and just focus on those side and rear delts. Moving on to the next exercise, this is a compound set. So you're gonna perform 10 reps of those upright rows and then go straight to your lateral raises. With this, keep a soft knee, keep your weight nice and even from left to right, and then do these in the mirror. So really pay attention, make sure your elbows are tilting up slightly. Lead this exercise with those pinkies. So put the pinkies up, dump the thumbs down, make sure you're keeping the elbows up. Try to keep constant tension. Now here I need probably eight pound dumbbells. I'm working with 10, so it's, it's really tough. Rather than pulling the weight up, think about pushing the weight away from your body. So you're pushing away with each rep. This can help eliminate the traps. A lot of times that's one of the, the things that keeps us from developing shoulders is uh, the traps will start to take over. The next exercise is a single arm Y press. So you're gonna wanna go pretty light on these. Now again, I'm utilizing that isometric hold at the bottom. So mid rep, I'm gonna pause, pushing these dumbbells up and out at the same time. This is gonna really work those side delts. It's gonna give you beautiful width across the upper body and an appearance of a smaller waist. Now here, I'm looking in the mirror, trying to make sure that the wrists are straight, that everything is even from right to left. And if you have any kind of imbalances, they will probably come out during this exercise. It is not an easy one. They're, you're using quite a bit of stabilizers. Here, Evan's telling me that my wrists <laughs> are not even from left to right. So make sure you're not breaking on one wrist and keeping the other wrist straight. And um, again, make sure those elbows are dropping to the same level on both sides and your weight is evenly distributed from right to left. So really, really pay attention. The right dumbbell should be a mirror image of the left dumbbell. So both should be kind of running along 180 degrees or running along that same plane there. So four sets of eight reps per side. That isometric hold is brutal. And then go straight into another modified neutral grip upright row. Now here, don't worry so much about getting a huge range of motion. What I want you to do is sit up nice and tall, pin your shoulders back and down, and really think about lifting the weight with just the side delts. I like to keep a slight bend in the wrist. So kind of curl your wrist inward. This is gonna help you hit those side delts. This exercise is awesome. If you have any kind of trouble doing traditional upright rows, this shouldn't cause any pain at all. And think about bringing your elbows out on this exercise rather than back. And I like to do uh, another isometric hold at the very end. So once you feel those side delts kicking in, just hold it on that last rep. Okay, I'm all jazzed up because it's only five pounds. <laughs> this is a Milos Sarsev uh, giant set. And I saw this on his page. So what this is is two sets total, but it's three exercises. So the first exercise is kind of a modified front raise. So you're gonna sit at that um, the curl, the biceps curl thing here. <laughs> I'm trying to remember the name. And <laughs> you're gonna start with your arms at your side and then you're gonna bring them up at an arc to just above your forehead. Try to get 10 to 12 reps here. And this is gonna work your side delts, also your front delts and this is a finisher. So moving on to the next exercise is basically like you're doing snow angels in the sky. <laughs> so you're gonna keep um, an overhand grip 
and raise those dumbbells directly over your head. So 10 to 12 reps here. And it is going to start burning. It's gonna feel like fire. Now try to keep everything still. Try to use just your delts and really focus on those last few reps because you're gonna make the most progress when it really hurts. And then the third exercise in this giant set is just a lateral raise. So focus on using just your side delts. Elbows up, pinkies up, thumbs down. Try not to use momentum. It is very, very difficult. So even though they're only five pound dumbbells, it starts to burn. So 10 to 12 reps here, two sets of these, just as a burnout. Shoulders are 50% fast twitch, 50% slow twitch, generally speaking. So you gotta train strength and power and you have to train these slow twitch, which is what this is. Incorporating unilateral movements, isometric holds, changing up your tempo, and just generally being aware of what your right and your left side are doing at all times, and trying to match the right and the left side, can really go a long way to balancing out your physique. If you try some of these exercises and you like them, please tag me on Instagram, and I might feature you on my Instagram story. Please consider subscribing and don't forget to click that little bell. You'll be the first to know when a new video comes out. Thanks for watching. Until next time, train hard y'all.